I got into this job when I was about 17 and it was just till I found out really what I wanted to do. I wanted to get into apprenticeship, maybe building or bricklaying I was interested in but then I, I fell in love with the competitiveness here and just a close group of guys and yeah. I found out about this job, my parents own a dairy and the new mill manager at the time had moved into the area and my parents put my name forward and yeah, then I got the call up about a week later. Our real hours are 5.30, which is our startup meeting. We start production at six till 4.30 in the morning, but my hours are more 5.30 till six in the morning. I think this type of job would suit anyone with a competitive streak, just cause we have running totals like saw counts of how many pieces we put through and stuff and that's what's always driven me and I know it motivates a lot of the guys in there too and just really wanting to get along with all your workmates because we are like a family in there at ships. It's not seasonal work we're all year round production all year round there is difference in the seasons like with how easy it is to get the logs out of the bush and stuff with how heavy the rain is and when it's really frosty and cold the logs can be frozen so that of course slows us down with our cutting but usually summer is our all go. Uh, we start our day off with a team meeting just to talk about the biggest push is health and safety, obviously working in a dangerous environment like this, so we're huge on our health and safety, just if there were any near misses the night before, we discuss them in a team about how that could be avoided, how we could fix that, if there's any new hazards in your areas, and then we review our KPIs, which is key performance indicators, which for us is Q per hour, so we have a set target to get out, and that's, that's what we go for for our target. And then yeah, our shift focus for the week, or if we have any new projects, or yeah. Uh, the first thing we do when we get out to the mill is everyone checks their guarding to make sure all their guards are in place, all their locks are on, all their signs are up, and just yeah, before we even start any buttons, it's a safety check on everything. The qualification I have is frontline management, and I've also did my health and safety level 1 and 2, and my first aid level 1 and 2. And all the training was paid for by Niagara. Uh, so Niagara is a sawmill, we've been around for 80 years. Um, we predominantly obviously mill logs, uh, kiln dry them, then they're graded um, and either sent off for export or they're taken over to our remanufacturing plant where they are um, made into finger jointed blanks. Okay, at Niagara on this site we employ um, about 120 staff approximately. We have a vast um, number of jobs here on site, um, anywhere from your machine operators, we have forklift drivers, timber machinists, engineers, uh, then you can get into um, sales and development, um, we have health and safety specialists, our operations managers, so the, I guess the, the amount of jobs that we have here is quite um, endless. The type of people we look for when we employ people here at Niagara is obviously people that are reliable with a great attitude um, and a willingness to, to learn. A lot of our entry level jobs don't actually require any qualifications, so it's these core skills that we're looking for when we're employing people. So we do have a lot of training and development opportunities here for a lot of our young and upcoming staff. Um, we like to train our staff up in different areas such as timber machining, um, finger jointing and saw doctoring and these are NCEA recognised um, and it's a earn as you learn type situation which is really good.